All right, so this question is maximum population. So you give me a 2D array logs, and then you want to, okay, logs i is going to be represent birth and death. And then uh, you want to make, uh, make sure what is the maximum population for the current year. It has to be a year, right? Year, right? So um, here we go. So um, for the example one, you know, this guy was born in 1993 all the way to 1999, 2000, and 2010 so the earlier year would be 1993 because there's only one person you know survive between this period of time right and then you want to make sure um, your current year is the the earliest year for the maximum population uh, let's look at this 1950 this guy was born 1950 and um, you know, somehow passed away in 1961. This guy was born in 1960, died in 1971, 1970, 1981. So, if you can tell, like, like just draw a interval. Okay. So this is 1950. Come on. Where's my? Okay. And this is 1981. Something like this. So it's from from here to here. Let's look. Let's look at this. From here to here. Right. And the interval between the 1950 and 1961 is going to be, you know, somewhere around here, right? And then another interval is going to be 1960 to 1971, so it's something about, you know, here or here, anyway. And 1970 and 1981, something about here. So they overlap, right? So the earliest year is going to be this, this period of time, right? So it's going to be 1960, right? So one of the strategy is actually using a counting array so let's look at this so the constraint is small that's okay so i'm going to um you know add add one plus one based on the the birth and death right so i'm saying 1951 and then 1961 minus one and this is 1960 plus one 1971 minus one and so on, right? And at the end, I'm going to just keep adding the previous value. So 1950, 1951, 1952. So this is what? One, right? And 1951, nobody actually was born on 1951. So initial value was zero, but you need to add the previous value. It's going to be what? Zero plus one, one. 1952 is going to be one until 1950. 1959 is still one. How about 1960? The initial value for counter is already one already, and one plus one equal to two. And if this value is more than you know, whatever you have, and you want to record the value, all right. Let's back to the coding. I mean, straight straightforward enough. So I'm gonna say years. Year new year. So the year is gonna be between what? This, this year and this year, but I'm not going to, to, to worry about this. I'm going to just initial 2051 space. Right, I need to have a return value. But later on, we'll find out one early, earliest year. So, for in log with log, make sure I have a counting array. Uh, array. So, this is first plus plus. This is the person who say goodbye, minus minus, from in i equal to 1950, i less than equal to 2050, and i plus plus, right? And that basically what? Years plus equal years minus one, right? So get the previous value, so you'll keep adding, and then if the result, sorry, so if the years at i is greater than years, at results, so results should be zero, right? Initially, it will be zero. You will, you will have to update the result equal to i, right? So, um, yeah, so this is pretty straightforward. So, you have 90, 50, and then this is one, and then this is uh, result is zero. Years of zero, this is zero, right? You update the year, the earlier year, and you get this solution. Should be okay. Pass. So for the time in space, this is space. I'm gonna say constant, right? This is time. This is time. 
this one is, and I'm going to say constant for the time for here, but this one I'm going to say all of L, L represent end of the log. So this will be a solution, and I'll see you next time, bye.